shown a lot so far with your three point shooting. I know it's something that you, you've worked on. How pleased have you been with the, the numbers that you're starting to produce? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I've been walking on this since I was, uh, I got in the year and I think it's been improving. Uh, I have more confidence in th uh, shooting threes. Um, for the team, like our concept is, you know, we shoot, uh, we attack the pan and then we um, spread out, like, you know, kick it out, kick it out to three point shooters. So it's actually, there's a lot of couple guys that can, you know, make a plays in this team. So, you know, it's easier for me to uh, knock down the open threes. Do you think it could be a goal uh, now that you're making a high percentage to attempt more threes while you're out there? Uh, I mean, not necessarily, necessary, you know, that's not, that's not actually my game, you know, it's just a, uh, it's a part of it. And that's not my strengths anyway. So, but, you know, it's, it's, of, it's of course, you know, uh, it's good to have a three point uh, shoot, you know, because it's easier for me to drive and attack the rim and stuff. So, but yeah, not, not really. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. What was your reaction when you learned, when you learned that Brad will be able to play against you? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, you know. I didn't know. Um, I remember it was like, I think a Memphis game. Um, I think he took a charge or something. And I remember he was hurt, but I think he he played through and the whole game, and I think the next day I think he had to check it out and that happened. So that's that's actually big, you know. Our best player, you know, um, is gonna miss the uh, long time. So we gotta we gotta, as a as a team we gotta figure out, you know, someone gotta step up and step out, and then uh, as a team we gotta play more. We gotta stick more together and play together. I mean, of course, it's not good, but you know, but it is what it is. You know, we just gotta figure it out. You know, the way to um, make a payoff. Um, we're still in the uh, close the race, so we just gotta figure out um, how we how we gonna pay. And but we we actually played a couple times without Brad too, so. You know, um, we gotta see. We gotta have more chemistry, and I think we're gonna watch more films and stuff and figure out. Or is there a part of you that looks at this as an opportunity? Um, yeah, of course. You know, um, I'm still like figure out. You know, um, you know, with this team, you know, I only played maybe ten games, some, something like that. So um, I'm still seeing like you know how I can fit in this team. I'm um, still figure out this like you know offense concept and the defense concept, but yeah, for sure, um, I can be the guy, you know, even last year, or like my first year when, when the bra was out, you know, um, I, I, I actually did a good job, you know, um, play for this team and I think I can be the guy in this team too, so. Um, I'm curious, how do you balance not trying to do too much because he's gone and still trying to get yourself back to the standard that you're accustomed to? I mean, it's not like, it's just, a, you know, um, I'm just like, you know, more opportunity to have, you know, ball in my hands, that's it, you know, it's just a, um, it's just a little different offense to me, you know, it's just like, of course, he's a superstar, you know, he gets the ball and he can score anytime, you know, um, but as a team, we, we have a lot of guys, you know, can do that, I know, um, can make a plays and like score the balls too, so. Um, for me, it's just no nothing like you know who's gonna be the guy or whatever. But you know, everybody got to step up and step out and uh, play together. I think that's the key. Yeah. What's it like for you to see? What's it like for you to see Corey? I think it's been good. It's been great for him. Uh, um, I've seen him walking out every day with the coaches. Um, he's been he's been doing a good job in the game. You know. Um, he knows his roles, uh, and I think uh, it's a great fit for him. Yeah. Um, I think the playmaking. You know, I, I know him since uh, college. I played with him, but 
playmaking is one of the um, things I think I can see, you know, improve this um, this whole season. Um, I think it's great for this, this team and uh, it's great for him. Neil? Hey, Rui. Um, I know it was an accident, but when you got your shoe kind of hitting Corey's face, did he give you any grief about that? Like, hey, come on, man. I thought we were friends or anything like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, I didn't know my legs can go up like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, I, I think I got I got grabbed by somebody and I, I lost the I lost the balance and I just like my leg was so high up and yeah, Cody was right there. So and I, I apologize right after, you know, he got in his face. So, but yeah, it was a, it was, I don't know, it was crazy. Yeah. And for you, obviously, early parts of your career, you were, you know, immediately thrown in as a starter for this team last, you know, so far this season, you're coming off the bench. What's maybe the biggest one or two differences um, in those two different roles? Um, not really, honestly. Um, there's nothing. I'm, you know, I'm still playing the same style and it's nothing. My job is the same thing, you know, offense, really defense, really being aggressive. Um, I think I need to engage more. I need to be in like more rebounds and stuff. But yeah, other than that, I think uh, it's the same thing. And last thing, how do you feel you are conditioning wise right now? Are you back to, you know, 100% as you were, you know, say last season? Or are you still maybe uh, you know, climbing yeah. Yeah, it's actually better than ever. I feel like um, my I, my body weight is really good right now. Um, I feel strong. Uh, my condition is good. So yeah, I think it's a, it's better than ever. Yeah. Thanks, Rui. We'll take our last English question from Christos, and then we'll switch over to Japanese. Hey, Rui. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what's your mindset uh, about this season? How you approach this season? And for you. What type of responsibilities to make a step up after Bradley Beal's injury? Uh, say that again. What's the first question? What is your mindset? How you approach this season? Oh uh, yeah, I know. Um, I mean, of course, you guys know I missed the uh, games at the beginning of the season. Like, um, so um, you know, for the for me right now, it's just like you know, trying to adjust. With this team, you know, offense, free, defense, free, you know, uh, we have a different concept than last year. So I think I'm getting used to it. And uh, I like to play with these guys, and it's very fun, you know. We just got to win, you know, that's it. But, um, and I know Brad is out for a while. So um, for me, you know, I just got to be more aggressive offensively. And as a team, we just got to step up uh, together. And yeah, we just got to play together. That's the key, I think. Well, you know, it's unfortunate, you know, um, when you sustain the injury, uh, that game at, at Memphis, um, you could tell it was bothering him. And, you know, you're hoping for, for some good news. Um, we felt that, you know, give it some time. And he, he really wanted to kind of gut through it, you know, see what if he can get some mobility back, uh, get the swelling out of it, and, and try to see could he, you know, finish the season. Um, but uh, it's not in the cards. It's, it's certainly unfortunate for us. And you're not going to have your best player on the floor, but um, you know we've we got to continue. And you know, it's for him. He's got to make a decision to, to do what he needs to do. And, and you know, we have to kind of find ways to plug the gaps and, and continue to uh, find a way to get out of this rut. You know, we've played well at times without him, and I think we have enough. Uh, we just have to find a way to kind of manufacture a little bit more. Does this alter plans? I mean, I, I don't think so. No, I, I don't think so. Uh, I think we'll always, you know, look at opportunities to uh, improve our roster. But, you know, I don't think it has, you know, anything to do with his his status right now. Um, like I said, we, we, we've played, you know, without him a number of times this year and, and played well. It's never an ideal situation, but it is what it is. I'm just curious. I asked uh, Rui about just not doing more, but kind of embracing what this is. This is an opportunity for a lot of guys to probably play more shots, more, more this, more that. 
What is that conversation like with your group trying to get everyone to continue to buy into we still have enough? Well, there, it, there's a line to that because I think it's true. We do have enough in the room um, and you want guys to step up and, and elevate their play. But to ask them necessarily to do more at times can be counterproductive. Continue to play you know, the right way. Continue to you know, play the way we um, you know, aspire to, to play. But it, it's not one of those things where all of a sudden, hey, we're going to feature this guy more. Um, I think collectively it's got to, we have to all elevate and be the best versions of ourselves. Um, but I don't think anyone can, you know, carve out that niche and say, all right, we're going to try and be like Brad. It's not going to happen. Um, I think the, the underlying theme is be the best version of you. There's clearly been difference between the way Spencer plays with and without him. Do you see this as an opportunity for him to, instead of trying to facilitate, to be more aggressive? I hope so. Um, you know, we've talked about it. And, and I think he still um, he has to set the table, you know, because he's, he's our point guard. He's got to run, run the team. Um, but there are going to be plenty of opportunities for him to, to, to go get it, be aggressive, get, play downhill. Um, he's shown at times this year his ability to, to play, make, and score, and pick and rolls is second to none. Um, but he's got to embrace that and take advantage of those opportunities. Any idea why he's not embracing that? It seems like the other night there weren't any many pick and rolls. Well, actually, there were, uh, you know, and once again, the, the switching defense is, you know, when you switch, it takes away the angles. It takes away some of the, the ability to get downhill. Um, and that's where we can't fall into just, you know, playing the ISO. So, you know, you may, you may generate a pick and roll and you, you find a switch. You got to find that next action. Um, otherwise, you know, you kind of playing against a loaded defense. We've seen that Miami, Phoenix, those switching teams that are aggressive. They're very, uh, they're very good at shrinking the floor behind it. Um, you know, that that, that can prob uh, cause problems. So continue to find action behind the switch. Uh, keep energy in the ball and, and let the ball find the open guy, I think is the overlying theme. But in general, um, you know, th those opportunities are going to be, they're going to be there. So uh, I think it's good for him. It's good for, you know, all of our guys to uh, elevate their play, but to, to ask them necessarily to step in a, in a role outside of themselves is, is probably unfair. No, I don't think so. Uh, we we want to make sure he's he's going to get more minutes. You know, that's all part of the plan. You know, we started, you know, weeks ago with this ramp up. Um, but it's also, you know, time and flow. Um, what do we like out there? Um, we've used multiple lineups at different times with, with guys out, and we'll, we'll continue to do so. But it's going to be on a need and fit basis. No, I don't. I don't believe so. Um, I think it's just uh, more precautionary. He got tangled up and a little sore, but you know, I don't see it for uh, being a problem tomorrow. He did. Speaking of Rui, he's a three-point percentage leading the team right now. Uh, how pleased have you been with his progress in that regard? When does it reach a point where you tell the guy, "Hey, we want you to take the floor"? No, you know what? I, I give him a lot of credit. He, you know, that was kind of, I guess, a knock on him in the past, his inability to stretch the floor, you know, especially as, as a four, that's kind of a dominant role now, um, you know, having that stretch big out there. Uh, he's put in a lot of time, you know, on his three, uh, the mechanics of it, you know, so he's shooting it with a better arc, shooting it obviously with more confidence. Um, and I think as long as they're the right types of threes, we're trying to encourage everyone <laughs> to, to shoot, shoot the open ones. Um, and, you know, obviously they, we didn't make them the other night, but I thought we generated a, a ton of good looks. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll endure that process. I, I'll live with that. Um, but for him, I think it's, it's just another step for him. Continue to, to be shot ready, uh, put yourself in the right, right positions. And the ball finds you and, you, you know, in the confines of the offense, shoot it. How is that Yeah, you could. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of it's matchup pending. Uh, he has a skill set to, you know, stretch the stretch the floor a bit. He hasn't shot it well as of late, but I'm, I'm not worried about that. I've seen him do it. 
Um, I think that's an area that he can excel in. Um, you know, so spatially it works. I mean, the, the flip side is on the defensive end, you know, where, you know, you're playing a too big lineup uh, or you're guarding a too big lineup. It probably makes a little bit more sense. Most teams don't play two traditional bigs. Um, they're guarding that small uh, mobile four, that stretch four, which, which at times can be problematic. Uh, better um, yesterday, um, still somewhat under the weather. Um, there's been some fatigue and some symptoms. Um, but he, he, as of last night, he said he felt uh, a little better. Christos. Hello, coach. Hope you're doing well, first of all. Uh, do you expect after the season ending ending injury of uh, Bradley Bill, the surgery that he's going to make, do you expect uh, from Rui, especially to make a step up into a bigger role as the season goes on? Potentially. You know, I think it's, you know, um, Corey, Denny, Rui, all these all these guys are going to have probably more opportunities. There's more minutes. Um, so, you know, th those could be evenly sparse uh, amongst the group. Um, but I think, you know, overall, for not only his development, but uh, for us, it's good to see him out there. Um, he's showing a, a steady progression. Um, he's showing more comfort level with how we want to play spatially, defensively. You know, his ability to switch has been good for us. Um, so I think it's it's on the table. But I think, you know, the Corey, Denny, Rui, um, you can, I think all those guys will benefit in some regard. And also, from your perspective, where do you feel this team at? mentally wise right now well i'm sure there's some frustration you know there, there's frustration with you know how we're playing how we're losing um but then you know you also have to take a step back you know obviously we started well struggled as of late um and the struggles have been you know the duration of struggle is probably what has been weighing over the group uh, but you know you're five games out you know 24 and 29 you got 29 games to play um, so there, there's room to kind of make up some ground um, because we've played so poorly over a long duration. I think it feels much worse, uh, but big picture, you know, it hasn't gone, gone well, but uh, there, there's still room for improvement. I think there's light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you very much, coach. Wayne. Hey, coach, how you doing? This, this, and from your perspective, how would you like to see this team respond from that adversity, not just with the brand injury, but just adversity in general? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a, uh, an opportunity to really dig deep, you know, see what we're made of. Um, it's easy, I think, when things are going well for us collectively, well for certain individuals. Um, th this is a test. And, you know, it's, it, this has been ongoing for some time, but what are we made of? How do we respond to adversity? How do we respond to, um, you know, some outside noise? Um, all those things. It's going to be a, a true look into who we are and what we're about. And I think that's the, you know, the one thing we can control. How do we respond um, to collectively? How do you sp respond individually when challenged? Um, and this has been a heck of a challenge, but uh, it's, the, it's the hand we're, we're dealt and we got to find a way to get through it. Thank you, Kurt. Last question is Shibata. Hello, Coach. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, my question is about uh, Rui Hachimura. Uh, I think uh, since there is uh, some rule changes in the defense this season, the game is uh, getting much more physical than last season. And uh, But I think Rui is doing a very, uh, very good job uh, do, uh, in uh, just a small uh, amount of minutes. So do you think he's uh, actually stronger than last season? How do you think about it? Uh, in general, I'd say, yeah. I obviously, I wasn't here last season, but um, in yeah, watching yeah, yeah. the games I saw, um, I think he's not only, you know, physically in a better place, but um, he's got a better understanding of, of how to play. Uh, and that, that's going to be an ongoing process. Um, I think that's the ongoing process for any young player. Um, logging those game minutes, there, there's really no way to, to simulate um, those situations. You know, even in practice, you kind of go through certain things. It's, it's different when the lights are on. 
um, you know, the adrenaline's going, you know, living in that moment. So uh, I give him a lot of credit. I, I think he's taken, you know, huge steps even since we kind of began his, his ramp up. Um, I think his experience this summer of kind of playing and, and, and being the, the go-to guy on, the, on that team, that, that, that helped elevate his confidence. Um, and he's, he's carried that over. So I think it's going to be a, a continual process, but I like where he is right now. 